Hi, Emmanuel family. This Sunday, Brian will focus on the passage in the first chapter of Matthew, which describes another visitation by one of God's angels. In this passage, Joseph learns that he will be the earthly father of a baby who will become the Messiah. Brian will walk us through Joseph's journey from heartbreak to hope and help us understand how Joseph's response to the news applies to our own lives. Our services this Sunday are at 9 and 11 a.m. At the end of the week, our Christmas Eve services are at 2 and 4 p.m. Preschoolers will enjoy their own celebration while older students will worship with their parents. Candle lights and carols are included. These are all great opportunities to invite friends or family members to hear the Christmas story. Then the following Sunday, December 26, we'll combine our two services into one service at 10 a.m. The usual ministries for infants through 8th grade students will be available. Don't forget to shop for our Christmas donations to Pads of Lake County. We have promised to provide breakfast items for their clients, so fill your grocery carts with cereal, granola bars, and pop tarts to help support our neighbors in need. You can leave your donations in the entryway through Christmas Eve. You've heard about Starting Point, the eight-week small group open to everyone, no matter where you are on your spiritual journey. The next session begins on Sunday, January 16th. There's no cost to registration, and it's open now. IC Sports has added a new activity that starts in January, Pickleball. This league is for everyone, individuals, friends, or family groups. Parents, kids, and couples are welcome to sign and play together. You must be in seventh grade or above to join in the fun. Registration closes on January 2nd. One last reminder, if you're planning to make a year in gift to Emmanuel, there are some restrictions. Please check the text below for specifics. You can also find out more about everything I've shared with you in the email. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Sunday.